Hello, everybody. Welcome to Percussion Axiom TV. I'm your host, Tom Burrett, and this is episode 30. Today's axiom is it's all about the blocking. Now, I was going to be a little cheesy and actually make today's axiom block it, you blockhead. I know that's cheesy, so I didn't do that, but I had to at least share that. So maybe you guys can tell me if that's too cheesy or not. If you like the cheesy titles or if I should just kind of keep it straighter, I don't know, let me know on that. Anyway, getting out of today's, uh, today's show, uh, we're going to give you part five, I believe, of the Stout A2. But before we get to that, um, just a big announcement about uh, Tumblr.com. If you go to thomasburritt.tumblr.com, um, that's, really, that's sort of the new home for the show. And I uh, really like the comments um, and how this whole site works. And I've been working really hard uh, getting that set up. And actually, uh, a really a lot of kudos should go to Katie uh, Shank for helping me with the Tumblr platform. I'm really impressed with what they're doing over there. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Um, I'd like that to be the new home for the site. So if you're watching this on YouTube, that's fine. Um, but uh, if you go to Tumblr, it's the Tumblr site. Uh, I'll leave a link in the show notes. But if you go to the Tumblr site, it's... It's just, you know, it's kind of a nice, uh, really cool little platform, and it's much more homey, I would say, than, uh, than YouTube. So thanks so much, Katie, for helping me set that up, and uh, you're just a, you're so amazing. Uh, thank you so much. So go check out Tumblr.com. I've been leaving. There's a couple other ways to use that platform that are really interesting. I've been leaving a little audio clips, uh, some goodies that if you follow me on Twitter, you know about. If you don't, you'll have to follow me on Twitter to find out. I've been dropping couple things here and there just you know for you guys to check out so uh, anyway encouraging you guys to use Twitter and, and, and follow me and uh, it's been a blast through this process of learning this piece to hear how you guys are doing and, and um, you can read through all the comments at Tumblr and to see kind of how we're interacting it's been a lot of fun so if you're interested in that sign up sign up for Twitter and uh, let's follow each other all right so check out Tumblr I'm really psyched about that and um, yeah that's that so Lots of stuff going on this week. We have Third Coast Percussion here. Hint, hint, they might be a guest on a future show. We'll see if we can arrange that. I'm sure we can. Uh, they're in town to work with our students here at UT and also for the Round Top Percussion Festival, which is this Saturday in Round Top, Texas. And if you're in Texas, anywhere near Central Texas, you've got to come to this. It's going to be a Third Coast uh, full concert by Third Coast Percussion. Uh, the UT Percussion Group is going to play some stuff. Um, there's Saint Song. Piano concerto that we've orchestrated for um, Marimba Orchestra with uh, James Dick, who's a very famous solo pianist who's out there at Round Top. And, and we're going to play some Zanakis on the evening concert, a new Dan Welcher quartet. I'm going to premiere this Lansky piece. So there's just all kinds of really, really cool stuff going on. So check out festivalhill.org. Uh, if you're anywhere in this area, please come by and check it out. All right. It's all about blocking. Okay, so we only have, I think, four or five measures this week. I didn't even count, but we're starting in measure 38. And um, the sections, you know, maybe the strangest out of all the sections in this piece so far. But if you just break it down, it's actually pretty simple. Uh, it starts with the uh, uh, octatonic, which we've played a bunch of times already. And then you have a series of three chords that he moves up and moves back. This one, this one. Three chords, and then he just cycles them back down. And then we get more octatonic. We've played this lick already a bunch of times, and then we get those same three chords again. practice that's why we're going to talk about blocking today I do this a lot when I'm learning music just break it down instead of trying to add all the rhythms and and all the difficult uh, you know all the difficult uh, permutations the combinations of the sticks just block it out so we'll do that one more time so there's the first one here's the first chord recommend um, is that he only makes one change in how this works so the first time through at measure 38 he starts the D of this chord on top so you can block it this way now there's the chord so in that first part he's just hinging back he starts on the D D down to three 
to four, and then three, four, three, four, three, four, and so on, alternating it. Now the second time through, he gives it the other way. So the left hand's doing exactly the same thing, but the right hand starts, instead of starting on the D in measure 38, you'll notice in 41, he starts on the G. So you can block it this way. two ways I would block that. Start by blocking, uh, you start just, and this is how I think you should practice it. Do it this way, the first way, practice getting those chords. And by the way, this chord here is from measure four in the opening, that interval of a fourth separated by a tritone. So that's kind of nice uh, unity there by Stout. Uh, so you play those three chords up, just get those in your head, kind of repeat them over and over, and then split it up the next step. Start with the D in the top. We need this little, little octatonic thing here that we played before. Then split, then split. Now start with the G on the bottom. So that's it. If you practice just that way for several days, however long it takes, it takes you to get that, don't even try to play all the rhythms there until you practice that a lot and get that in your muscle memory. Eventually, then you can add the rest. find the pattern then since he's starting and alternating here in different ways you start with the G on the top and then the second time through you start sorry the D on the top and the second time in measure 41 you start with the G on the top and block it that way so that's it it then goes back to the return of the beginning which we already know and then the last two measures 40 and 49 are uh, just the octatonic scale <laughs> Today's show, block it, you blockhead. <laughs> or it's all about the blocking. I'll let you choose. So, um, that's it. We've got the whole etude learned. I thought we would do one more show after this and um, just kind of talk about some other things like articulation, dynamics, um, a bunch of other stuff that, we'll, that I'll have to kind of study the score here to get to. But um, yeah, I think that's it for today. Um, block it out, make it simple, figure out the process, just give your, give your muscle memory a chance to get it down. Okay, great. So one more show on this, then we'll be done with it. We'll have a spe some special guest artists over the next week or two. And uh, I'd like to squeeze in a show about the landscape premiere too. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that, but check out the Tumblr site. I'm really psyched about that, and I think it's going to work really well for us. At least I'm hoping so. And... Um, that's it. Thank you guys so much for, for leaving comments. It's, it's, um, some of you are leaving, leaving videos up of your playing, and, and that's just really, really cool. And uh, like I said, last episode, we're really working on some really cool ideas for the next time we decide to do this, which I think we will. And uh, those of you who are interacting very interactively and very consciously this time through are going to be... Um, Let's just say ahead of the game when we do this next time, okay? All right, so today's question is a completely not related to uh, anything profession, but there's something huge happened. I, I, don't, I don't know if you guys know this, but I grew up in Buffalo, New York, and so I'm a huge Buffalo Bills fan, and uh, football is like so big there. Football and hockey, actually. But as some of you may know, Terrell Owens signed with us this weekend, and I just can't even believe that. I'm still shocked. So the question of the day is, do you think the Bills signing Terrell Owens is a good thing? Maybe I should put up a poll. That's kind of a good idea. Anyway, so what do you think? If you're not a sports fan, you don't have to answer, but I'd love to hear your answer to that in the comments, along with, of course, all the comments about the piece. So thank you so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.